Hello and welcome back to Texas All Water Fishermen. I just want to do a quick short video today on salting baits. Uh, right now, as you see in front of me, I'm cutting up some squid and I put it inside a Tupperware, a glass jar, anything like that. Put a layer of salt, layer of squid, layer of salt, layer of squid. Uh, I'm also going to layer some shrimp uh, when I do this batch. Uh, that is recycled salt. After I've had it dry out the bait, I let the salt dry out and I can use it again. And that way I'm not going out and buying a whole bunch of salt again and again and again. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. I have no problems with it. The little container in the back there is where I'm putting the squid guts. I'm kind of going to use that as a frozen chum bag. When I'm all set down, I'll put the shrimp shells in there and stuff like that too. So I really don't let anything go to waste. It all goes out there to try and attract more fish. But very, very simple premise. The salt dries out the squid and the shrimp and it doesn't go rotten while you're fishing. When it's sitting out of the cooler for more than just a minute or two, like normal frozen shrimp do, will, it'll get all mushy and nasty, and it toughens it up so it stays on a hook even better, especially for squid, stays on really, really well. So, very, very simple thing to do. You just do it a couple days before you go fishing, and it works as great bait, and again, it's a lot less nasty than just fresh frozen shrimp or, or just putting on the frozen squid, because uh, it definitely keeps a lot better than you get a smelly and gross. Uh, let me know if you have any comments. Thank you. Have a good day.